us and all of those good things. But he understands that we have to live. We have to eat. We have to, you know, clothe ourselves and all of that stuff. But he says over there, seek ye first his kingdom, its righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. And so I'm not mad about the stimulus. I'm, I'm grateful. But the reality is these things come, and if we use them properly, you know, we can do some wonderful and marvelous things with it. That's all I'm suggesting. We can do some wonderful and marvelous things with it. <laughs> you picking up what I'm putting down? Are, are, are you picking up what I'm putting down tonight? And so I had this whole litany of things I wanted to talk about around the stimulus, but I just want to give you these practical things as it relates to that. Um, let me just give you six things and I'm going to be out the way. If you receive it, hey, make sure that you're covering your basic essentials. Don't, don't, don't take your stimulus money and, you know, blow it on frivolous stuff. And I know some folk, I, I remember when it first came down, people was all on social media talking about, I'm tired of people telling people what they should do with their money. This and other. Listen, you grown, you can do whatever you want to do. But what I'm saying is that these things come as a blessing. And if they come as a blessing, if they are in fact, uh, our manner from heaven in this season to help us push through and make it through, then let's be wise with it. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Let's be wise with it. Make sure that you're covering your basic essentials. Now, what they would want you to do is, in fact, take the money that they are giving you and then give it right back to them. You know, they call it stimulate the economy. Go out and, you know, spend your money. You know, think about it. You know, some of the things that opened up first in terms of pandemic were to try to push you to spend, you know, your money and your dollars and all of those things. So just be wise. Make sure that you cover your basic essentials. That's all I'm simply saying. And if you can, pay down some of the stuff that you owe. That's called debt. Pay down some of your debt. Least amount that debt that you have in the future, hey can help to sustain you as you go forward. Make sure you pay down a little bit of your debt. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pay down some of, some of your debt. I'm going to have some conversations about that later on, but just make sure as you get that in, don't just go, you know, I'm going to the mall, girl. I got, you know, I, I heard my producer on here talking about going to Walmart and all of that kind of stuff. Yeah. Build on your savings. but. I also believe that through the stimulus, hey, you can do some creative things with it. You know, that could, in, in essence, be your startup for this new thing that you're believing God to do in your life, this new business, this new opportunity. At a minimum, it could help you push through the paperwork that's necessary to get your thing off of the ground, to do a little bit of research to help you to launch out into the deep, right? So, so that's all I'm saying. Hey, if it's come as a blessing, it could, in fact, lead to the greater blessing for you. So just make sure um, that you're doing that. Um, put a little bit to the side. Yeah, put a little bit to the side. You know, there is, in fact, this 80-20 this rule, right? 80% you take care of whatever you need to take care of. 10% you put to the side. Then for us who are believers, 10% you give unto the Lord. Now, hey, that's on you, but that's the 80-20 rule. 80%, you do you. 10%, you put it to the side somewhere. You know what I mean? The old folk will put it under their mattress. You know, young folk, we drop it in the bank, whatever, but put it to the side. Oh, you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> put it to the side. I ain't raining on nobody's parade. I'm just saying put it to the side. They call it, you know, rainy day fun, y'all. You know, in case the next pandemic come up, you got some money to the side. You know what I mean? Put it to the side, 10%, you know, benevolence, whatever space that you operate on, use it to help somebody else. That's, that's all that is, right? So you could 
Yeah, use it to bless somebody because, in fact, we are a blessing. If God blessed us, he blessed us to be a blessing to other people. Never lose sight of the fact that you're a conduit, that everything that the Lord gives to you is not meant to stay with you. It's meant to go or pass through you sometimes. So 80% to you, 10% you put to the side, rainy day fund, 10%. Bless somebody else. Bless a minister you're involved in. Uh, you know, whatever. Bless somebody else, you know. Just make sure you're thinking about that. You know, help somebody. Each one, you know, help somebody. That's all I'm simply suggesting that you would do. Um, you can do that in various ways. Support your local community. Support your local church. Whatever. Whatever. Just make sure that, that that's how um, the flow keeps on flowing, right? As you begin to bless other people. God continues to give to you. The Bible says he gives seed to the sower. 